I'm sorry to ask uh, this question almost, but it's something that I think is a little bit important. Um, how do you think? First off, people quit prefacing and saying sorry for everything. Okay, it first off, it devalues saying sorry. Okay, you, f you first have to screw up before you actually say sorry. Just comes out the gate. I'm sorry for all the things I'm about to do. Then you're not sorry because you're doing them. Okay, that means you're not sorry. That's the def definition of sorry is I did something and I wish not to have done it. And therefore, I will change my life and I'll repent from my sins. Instead, this person's like, well, I'm sorry, but here we go. That's not sorry. You're using the term incorrect. I think it affects the culture of a community of a project. When the leader is on that project's uh, public mailing list, telling people in response to patch reviews that they should be retroactively aborted. Right. Uh, and maybe that you're surprised that they're- oh, oh, that is way too harsh. I did not know he said that. I feel like I knew that, but at the same time, whoo, you can't say that. They're still alive because they should have starved to death when they were children because they were too stupid to find a tit to suck on. I I'm surprised you're alive. Because I don't think you're smart enough to find a tit to suck on. That is, that is literally the most intense burn I've ever heard in my entire lifetime. I, I just don't think you could literally, like, that. You, you just can't say that. Okay, Karen, first off, I'm not a big fan of teleportation. Can we not do that anymore? Okay, I don't like that. It makes me feel all wobbly. And second off, I'm just quoting a guy. Okay, I'm not, I'm not saying it. She, Karen. I agree that some people might be put off by that. <laughs> there's at least one person, we know, factually stated, there's at least one person put off by that. Minimum. The one with whom you said should be retroactively aborted probably is offended. At least one person. Minimum. Uh, but on the other hand, <laughs> you know what, I, uh, in the end, I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. You know, like, I'm not really into being mean to someone, you know, when they do something stupid. I, I, I'm I, not into it. Uh, I, I don't think it's a good way to go about things. But people most certainly have become way too sensitive, right? And this is just like a hilarious just interaction of these two worlds just colliding. Clearly, Bull and China Shop versus this person that's like, sorry, sorry for even saying it. Sorry for even speaking out loud, but I'm going to speak out loud. Sorry about it. Right, like this is a very funny interchange right. here. Um, I care about technology, and I've actually seen projects that took the whole political correctness so far that the the project no longer is about the technology. He's looking at you, Russ Foundation. Um, I actually, so um, my <laughs> wow, we are getting more questions. I think. At some point, we might want to moderate them. So my take, uh, I, I'm, I, I, I actually am very happy to talk about this. It's not a problem for me. Um, my. By the way, I can't tell if this is too loud or not. Flip, can you do some like post-processing to make the, no, the, the levels normal? Like in my headphones, it looks loud, but on OBS, it's like quiet. So I can't tell if it's too loud or too quiet. It's very confusing for me right now. It's actually really hard to know what's happening. My standpoint has always been that, hey, people are different. I'm abrasive. Um, I grew up in a culture that I think is not quite as politically correct as the culture, especially in the U.S. today. Um, I also grew up in a family that was largely dysfunctional. So, um, I mean, so... Hey, welcome to the club, Linus. I'm glad that we, uh, we share that, you know? Uh, you know, nothing like a good dysfunctional family. Um, I guess I took a different approach in the sense that my goal was to create a functional family. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to be functional. I want to be a functional, normal human being by the end of this all. But hey, welcome. It's a fun time. You know, we all get, we all get to learn some things, you know. People are different, and some people take offense, and some people give offense, and we all have to live together, but the living together is not by finding some lowest common denominator. The living I together, like that and it has actually been fairly successful, is to try and realize that, hey, unlike your family, you can actually pick 
your friends and you can pick the coworkers. And open source is actually really good at that. Uh, better so than many commercial software projects because in a commercial setting, you're kind of stuck with your boss. In open source, find people you like. Find people you like working with. This is actually a really good take. Uh, this is shockingly a good take. Um, I think that uh, when you really like the people who you work with, you work better, right? And I think some people get so stuck on a project they want to work on, even when they find out they don't like who they're working with. And then it just doesn't cause the right camaraderie, right? You really have to enjoy the people you work with. And I, th I think that is a, this is a really great point because if you want to take something far, there has to be something more than just like money or notoriety at the end, right? That, that, that's just not, it's very hard and very few people can be wired in such a way that just that is motivation enough to go through a lot of horrible things, right? Um, I, I work directly with, let's say 20 people closely and 50 people more or less, right? There's every release, there's a thousand people involved. Jeez. Find somebody you like better than me. That, that's fine, right? I'm not willing to be less honest. Uh, <laughs> less honest and the, and the uh, retroactive aborted. I mean, that's the thing is like, that may not technically be honesty. Just throwing it out there that may be a different quality than honesty. But hey, hey. Because I know I'm abrasive, right? And quite often the whole, like when I say something like, I wonder how he grew to be an adult when he's so stupid that he, I don't expect him to find food. Some people might realize that it's kind of hyperbole and jokey. I'm not, right? I'm, not, um, <laughs> I'm not saying something bad. Did he, did he just try to... Is, is Linus backpedaling? Do we got a backpedal right now? You know, I was like, I was totally joking when I was just like, you should have died. I wasn't like, you should have died. I was like, you should have died. <laughs> Your change is definitely not being committed. You should have died because of it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that was a joke. Ain't no way. Just no way and joking. I'm not, right? I'm, not, um, I'm not saying something bad that, you know, it's not politically correct or whatever, although certainly I, I would understand if people do say this. Yeah. It's more about um, treating other people with respect and maybe saying technical. Mm. You know what? I, mean, you... I love the clappies in the background because they're just like, you should never do that. Yeah, you tell them. You tell Lina. I love that. I love that there's a few clappies because they just hate this idea, like you, you do see it a lot in software. 10 years ago, my favorite, most growing moment was not when someone took me by the hand. Hey, Prime, you know, you're a really great guy. And I think you're a smart person. Could we talk about this for a second? He like walked in and said, hey, get that hand out of my hand. Your change sucks and you need to go fix it right now made me take things a little bit more seriously. I still look back at that as one of a, a, very, a very great, a very great moment. Applaud everything you want, but I don't respect people unless I think they deserve the respect. There are people who think that respect is something that should be given. And I no, no, I don't, I, I actually agree with that. You don't, you don't give somebody respect off the rip. I, but I believe fully in giving someone the benefit of the doubt off the rip. Right, I don't doubt them. I don't. Uh, I don't think. Oh, they can't do it. I go. Okay, I'm gonna start off, and I, I. I'll believe you're capable. Show me you're capable. I believe it. So whatever you do, I will come in there thinking this person's capable and able to do a good job. That's not necessarily respect. It's just I. I like to start everyone off in a nice, in a nice, uh, in a in a good spot. You know, just like Pestil Pestilent Eight. You know, he started off in a good spot. Now he's just not. You know what I mean? Good times.
I happen to be one of the people who I'm perfectly happy saying no. Respect should be earned. And without being earned, you don't get it, right? <laughs> it's really that simple. And I, not everybody agrees, and that's fine too, right? Uh, there are people I refuse to work with, right? <laughs> it's, it cuts both ways, and, and I realize that, right? Okay, thank you. Okay. This is a good video. You know, like, I, I still think you shouldn't justify being mean to someone, right? I, I, I really, I think there's a difference between mean and honest and all those things, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to preface all that shit. You guys get it. You guys understand there's a difference. Um, but the reality is I think that people, in some sense, fight super hard and genuinely try to, um, in some sense, like try to make the world into a place where no one can say anything negative, right? Like there's just so much about this, especially with pull requests, where you can't even say, hey, this is bad, right? I think that's equally as wrong, right? You're fighting both sides at that point. You should be able to say, this is bad. I don't think it's 100%. I, you disagree, really? You, you, so you, you literally think that everyone should be given immediate respect? I don't think everyone should be give, given immediate respect, right? I think respect is 100% earned, right? You, you really do have to give an earned respect. I think that you should be able to be harsh on something that is bad, but I do not think you should be, like, I, I just don't believe in insulting the individual, right? Uh, as a human, yes, there's a difference. There's a difference between human. There's a, there's human dignity, and technological prowess, right? Those are very very different things. And so those are two different categories. Like I wouldn't treat somebody bad, or think they somehow deserve less because of some inalienable quality about them, right? Something that I can't they can't I can't do anything about, right? I get that. But when it comes to technical side, you don't get. You just don't get respect, right? You can't walk in new person and expect the same respect as Linus, right? If Linus, like, how, what I mean by that is that if Linus comes to you and makes a PR against your open source library, what are the chances you're accepting it? And if some person named, you know, Edgelord69420 comes in and makes a PR, what kind of scrutiny are you going to give them? Well, it's simple. Because one of these people has earned respect, and as much as you would like to say, yeah, hey, you know, I get it. I respect everybody equally. The reality is you don't, right? You don't, you know? And I know everyone's joking. Well, actually, I would do, I'll do this. Uh, I, let's see. Re, honestly, I think he means honest uh, uh, to his own thoughts and himself. And he wants to say, I agree, though. You should be able to give negative feedback without being overly mean. Yeah, you shouldn't be mean about it. I totally am on that team. And I think you should have the right to be mean, and the receiver has the right to be offended. Yeah, that's true. I don't believe you have the right to never be offended. Yeah, I. so this is, okay, so this right here is a great statement. You don't have the right to never be offended. And that's the thing is, like, I'm totally about drawing lines. Like, I'm never going to say someone I think that you're, something horrible i mean pestilence eight we did it as a joke even with all the dumb things he said no matter how like racy racist those that shit was you know the poor guy lives that life like if that's his literal thoughts think about how low and awful your life has to be to view the world that way you know what i mean like in real real talk you have to be so twisted internally to think that that's a real thing i pity you more than anything else I am happy I don't look like that, right? I'm happy I don't I, I, I don't act like that. It's it's sad to me, you know? Um, see, being neutral is being respectful too, in my opinion. I think we might be, I think we might be, uh, I think we might be putting in weird things with the word respect. I think we probably all don't have maybe the same definition for respect. You know what I mean? And so typically when I think of respect, I think of something a little bit different than, say, courteousness, right? Being courteous is different, right? That's a very different, 
Like, so what, what, what it seems like you just said is, I think we should be courteous, right? You're being neutral. You're being, maybe you're not, uh, I'm not really sure what neutral and how, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's different. Um, yeah, I, I do agree with that. You know, neutral is being, uh, I don't even know what that word is. Compassant, 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 having respect versus being respectful. Yeah, yeah. How dare you disrespect my definition of respect? I don't know. Polite, yeah. This is maybe a polite thing. Like I, I do believe in being polite. I believe in being civil, right? We live in a civil society. Diversity is an old wooden shit. <laughs> but I mean, I do mean. I think that we live in a society, and we should we should be civil to one another. And I think that that's that's a good that's a good place to be, being civil. And so. That's like a good step one, right? And so I, I'm just not going to act like he does, right? And I know someone was, uh, someone was posting that he has now said, hey, I'm sorry for all those years of being uh, a jerk. I don't even know where it's at. Uh, I get that. You should be a little bit sorry because I think as you look back and as you get older, you get a little bit wiser with time. You know, hopefully, hopefully you get wiser with time. Not all old people are wise. Not all young people are unwise, right? And I think there's just comes a point where you go, okay. Maybe I should have done things different. And that's good. You know, people change. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that he could write an article saying, hey, maybe I should have been a little bit more polite. That's good. I still agree with a good portion of the things he said. I think it's good to find open source projects where you just get along with people. You know what I mean? You just want to be there. You want to work with them. You get, you have good banter. I think there's something really powerful about that, right? Really powerful uh There's so, there's something really important about that, right? It's 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 a uh, um, yeah. I mean, you should agree and disagree with every, everything everyone says. It's like a workplace. Yeah, you want uh, the retroactive abortion line was good though. I mean, it's hilarious and it's in in the fact that it's just so absurd. Yes, um, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, and of course, of, of course, this is also true. We all we all get to talk a bunch of shit on the internet because we're not doing it in person, right? No one's going to go up to somebody and start an actual fight who talks shit on the internet because almost 99% of all people on the internet, they're not in fighting condition. <laughs> okay? They're not. They don't want to do that. Um, but, hey, this was really weird. This was a weird talk. It was really weird about that one guy in the middle that just said absurd things. But, hey, you know, we got to roll with the punches. This is Twitch. Okay? Welcome to Twitch. Fucked up on here. Okay? I just, <laughs> I just messed that up. Hey, the name... This is the primogen.